In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to obtain some data from the internet, things you find on the internet, bring them into Google Sheets um, for different activities. So to start with, I've looked up, my subject matter is going to be statistics from a sports team, so in this case, the New York Giants. Um, I've searched out this page, and when I come down, I see a lot of statistics in these nice tables. Now, something to understand is that on the internet, um, data is often stored in tables. And the important thing to realize is it depends on how you select that data as to whether it's going to come into a spreadsheet well. So um, basically, you want to start outside the table if you can. So I can see that this is probably a table right here. Here's some information at the top and then this looks like a new table to me so I'm gonna start at the first point outside the table I can which would be here okay after this stuff this stuff I don't think is in the table so I'm gonna come after it and click and then I'm gonna drag down and I'm gonna to try to get um, just outside the table so I'm gonna to come to the beginning of the new table okay but I'm gonna come before it I'm not gonna include passing statistics I'm going to come here once I do that I can copy it holding down your control or command key on a Mac control key on a PC is the easiest and then just tap C let's come back to my spreadsheet and see how I did now in the first cell I can right click and just say paste or I can control V and I didn't do badly if I widen these up a little bit you can see that while not perfect I basically got things into columns and cells. Um, this turnover ratio, for some reason, I'm missing something over here. Let's see. Oh, nope, nothing there. So, um, so I, I pretty much got the data I wanted, and then I can clean it up. So I'm going to take these first two rows, and I'm going to right-click on them and delete them. And that may be the extent of the cleanup that I need to do on this. Um, they didn't put any oh look at this it looks like since it couldn't figure out that last thing it merged these cells so let me select them and say unmerge and now they're at least in two different cells I can put not available and this data is cleaned up and ready to use however um, this is not particularly easy data for, for me to work with so I'm just going to delete it all and I'm going to go to a new site. Okay, on this site, it basically has giant statistics for 2018 on back through their history. So this might be good data to play with. Now, if I were to say I want to get all this information and I were to start selecting it, what I would find, oop, I should be off to the right of this. What I would find is for some reason that they've broken this into two tables. Um, they went back to 1989 and then started again, and I could select and copy, come across and paste. And what I found here is that um, I only got the first two columns of data. So let me undo that. And the actual reason here is, is that they constructed this with two tables. That's something you might not uh, figure out if you don't have experience in designing web pages but they actually did it in two pages and we only got the first table so this is kind of a, a pain in the neck so I'm gonna come over here to the beginning of the second table the table to the right and I'm just gonna select the data in there now I know I said that we should be trying to get the um, outside the table if we can but sometimes we can't and we have to play around so I'm gonna copy that data I'm going to drop it in here, and that didn't go badly. I usually like to check my last cell to see if I got it, and it looks like I did. This goes back to 1989, but I want additional data. I want to go back to 1978. In 1978, uh, the reason I want to do this is because this was the year that they went to 16 games in a season and therefore I can get nice consistent data so for what I'm gonna do so let me 
deselect, try selecting down here, and let's see what I get. Maybe it's going to work, maybe it's not going to work so well, we'll find out. Oh, I've got a little extra, so let me just see. I got a little bit of 1977, which is not what I want, um, but let me see. Paste that in there, and essentially things line up. I have this, uh, for 1978 data, I do have a complete set. Okay, for 77, I don't. So this worked out pretty well. I'm going to delete that bottom row. I certainly don't need these two rows. So now I'm going to have to go clean up the data. And this is common with a lot of data that you, you get. It's just part of the process. It's not a bad thing. Um, to make students aware of as well. Now, this has got wins, losses, and ties. I, I know they're, you know, I don't need this particular information, so I'm going to delete those columns. Uh, the only other thing I really want here, just so I have stuff to work with, is maybe points for and points, uh, points against. Oop. Got the wrong column there. points for and points against and I'm not gonna say that I care about any of the rest of this so let's clean it up so that's your first process second second is a little more cleanup left to go here these are hyperlinks I can leave them um, if I were to click on one you'd see it gives me the option to go out there but if I don't want these I can simply select the column right click and find the unlink option okay so that works out well and then there's just a little bit of data cleanup to do a little formatting more or less okay so this row looks good to me so I'm gonna click the format painter and I'll just copy that format straight down to the bottom I'll leave what I have at the top and okay we're ready to work so uh, that really gets us gets us through the cleanup portion of the data. There is another way to import data and that's if someone's provided to you in an alternate file such as a CSV file or a, a tabbed eliminated file or a text file. Now let's go ahead and look at how we could import data from another source. And I've already created a tab here it's called Earthquakes so I'm going to move over to Earthquakes and first I have to locate the data. I'm going to open a tab. I happen to have the link here. Uh, this is data from the USGS government website, um, and it's data on earthquakes. So if I come to this site, I can say what magnitude earthquake I want data on. So anything above a 2.5, or let's just say a bigger earthquake, 4.5, um, date and time past 7 days, past 30 days, or I can put a date range in here. I can get the data for the entire world for the region of the 48 uh, US states. There are some custom settings, but I can also draw a rectangle, which is pretty cool. And to do this, if I wanted the earthquake um, data for the Africa region, I would simply find a spot in the upper left hand corner and click, draw my box out or drag my box out to include what I wanted to include, click again and then just say use, use this region. I'm not going to do that in this point, but it's a, but it's a great um, easy way to study a particular region. So I'm going to leave it at 4.5 past 7 days in the world. Uh, there are some advanced options. What I'm going to look at though are the output options, and I would like this as a CSV file. This is going to provide a download in comma separated value format. So basically what this means is the headings, the labels across the top, will just be listed out on the first row with commas between them and then the data underneath will be listed the same way. It'll just be numbers with comma, 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 comma in between. And what that will do is because it's in a very organized format and there are the same number of commas in every row, it'll allow us to easily import it into Excel. Now um, I can put them in time order or magnitude order, but I can do this later, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Search.
and you can see here that it's um, let me just rename that. I'll overwrite the original file. You can see that it just generates the CSV file and offers uh, to have me download it. So I do that. I'm going to replace the file I have. The first time you do it, you won't have to replace any files. And then here. Okay, back in Sheets. And what I'd like to do is bring that data into this sheet. So I'm going to click in the cell where I want the data to start. In a lot of cases that will be cell A1, although if you're pending to data you already have in here, it, it may be somewhere else. Okay, you go to File, Import, Upload in this case, and you navigate your way into the folder that contains the file, the CSV file, here it is. I'm going to say Open. And now it will give me a series of options. So I could create a brand new spreadsheet so it wouldn't really go on my earthquake spreadsheet. It would make a new one for me and that's fine. Um, I could replace the existing spreadsheet. I could replace the current sheet. But I'm going to append the data to the current sheet. So I have this earthquakes thing. I've already gone to the trouble of naming it. So I'm just going to append it here. Now I'm appending it to nothing. Um, so that's easy but if there was data here I could I could have come down to cell A11 and started the import there now separator type I can designate that it's commas because it's a CSV file um, but detect automatically generally works pretty well and then do I want to convert text to numbers and dates if it looks like a date should I make it a date type if it contains only digits should I make that a number type and then and you can play with these options but in this case I, I want to do that so I'm going to say import data and there it is so it, it came in beautifully um, I can do various things with this I can now sort it myself I can filter it I can do calculations on it but the the real emphasis of this video is how to get it into your space okay so two ways again copy and paste tabular data from the internet right directly into a spreadsheet or import it and you can import a, a variety of types of files such as text CSV um, Excel files so if you have an Excel file you want to bring in here that's easy you just import it